Hey y'all, here's how you play non-Steam Windows games on Proton using well, Steam. So first go to add a game, add a non-Steam game, click browse, browse to the folder you want, thankfully mine's already there. Click on all files and then choose the exe file. There might be a dot bat but usually you're gonna want an exe file click open and then make sure it's checked and push add selected programs now what you'll want to do is well first let's try it and see what happens but when you first start out it's just gonna get stuck on the screen it's not gonna do anything so what you want to do first is right click here go to properties and first of all you want to check this if this doesn't end in a .exe um, this thing is really buggy so what you're gonna want to do is go to browse and then choose the exe again now with this game there's no spaces in the title so it got it right on the first try but usually you have to go in and browse again it's annoying like that all right then in the compatibility tab you go to click force the use of a specific steam play compatibility tool and you have all these options here uh, choose whichever you want I like to go with proton experimental but if that doesn't work just switch to the latest version just make note of what version you pick here because that's going to be important later all right now you're gonna want to click here, go to tools, and make sure tools are visible. Then you just type in Linux right here, and you get Steam Linux Runtime, Steam Linux Runtime Sniper, and Steam Linux Runtime Soldier. Now, I think you want the Soldier one, but if you're not sure, I, like I've never seen anything bad happen in happen from installing all three so you're good on that regard so you just want to install this finish then you want to look up proton now in this list remember the version that we chose earlier which in our case was proton experimental then install that and it'll take a little while because it's a big file but not too long. Alright. Well, that works its magic. That's downloaded. And the runtime's downloading. Very good. Then you go back to your library. Find the game you added. You can disable the tool. They clutter things up. And, with any luck, this might take a little while just because it has to set everything up, but, ah, there it is. There's Franken RPG, a wonderful free game by uh, the name that you just saw. <laughs> Sorry, I just downloaded this game to show it off in this video, but yeah, that's... How you play a non-Linux game on Linux.